UK since leaving South Africa in 1975 with the musical group Ipitombi. Her body was repatriated from London with the help of the Department of Arts and Culture as well as that of the South African Airways. A soothing and jazzy send off for a woman who dedicated most of her life to music. <laughs> From family to friends and fellow artists came to bid her farewell. She was dubbed the Queen of African Jazz by the Guardian newspaper in the United Kingdom. But her stardom never outshone her girl next door persona. Nor did it make her abandon her family responsibilities. I'm happy. I just said I'm happy. Also said uh, we don't know how we're going to pull through, but we believe that God is our son. So, and she was loving, caring understanding the only factors that she could look for in doing me she had all of those it is in the uk where penis a soul reached the pinnacle of her music career her talent has been admired and appreciated even by heavyweights in the local music industry this is the person who lived up to uh, the purpose of her well-being why she was born she was born to acquire skills and impart it to others so today to us she's another Miriam Makeba she's another Man Mandela of the art so we look forward to a situation where such people will grace the Hall of Fame yeah very talented it's a pity I didn't stay long with her you know I had to go my ways to after we broke and the vocal group uh, broke up so I had to stick on the piano and check the piano. Pinis' soul studied music at the University of the Arts in London. She later taught music at the University of York in England. She also had some sessions with music students at the University of Forte here at home. Gunat Bingwase, ABC News, East London. And may her soul rest in peace. South Africans are being called upon to support the country's first